Hi Peter, how are you? Well, fine. Are you is uh, Peter Wright, he's the vehicle engineer manager for the Range Rover and uh, we just finished um, a very extreme <laughs> off-road test of this uh, new Range Rover with the new diesel engine and uh, obviously the Range Rover has been in the market for a while now but we, can we say this is an interesting time to bring a diesel to the market <laughs> because of things that have happened in the past, not with you but just in general? Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting time uh, for sure. But I think the qualities of this this engine stand out on their own. Uh, we've got two good emission systems on the car with uh, urea dosing, uh, SCR, and uh, low pressure EGR, uh, and the car will speak for itself. Uh, how did how did you find it off road? Oh, the, the off road is fantastic. I mean, it's always I mean the case with a Land Range Rover event. I mean, the cars are so. We started this morning pristine clean everything and then we go and get them really dirty and then it's amazing how much they can do on, on, on uh, off, off the road and uh, I also most of the people I don't know if you have those uh, figures but most of the people will never do anything even close to that even though the car is very capable of doing right well this this market uh, is interesting in America and it's got one of the highest off-road uses globally uh, we, we estimate 30 to 35 percent of uh, North American owners uh, will take their car off-road. So the, the diesel engine, and uh, you, you told us this morning that you well, you were testing the, the vehicle not only mechanically but also with like, how people were feeling about it. Not Nobody could say it was a diesel, right? When you told them in the blind test, they just got in the car, they couldn't identify it no. as a diesel. No, I think... I think and this is why. The, the refinement speaks for itself. <laughs> uh, we're sitting here what is it? Uh, we're going legal, uh, we're on the legal 70, limit. Yeah, yeah 65, 70. 65, yeah, and uh, it's, you wouldn't know whether you're in a gasoline or a diesel vehicle now. I mean, this is technology, uh, common rail injector, it can inject up to five times, uh, makes the engine very refined. We've got a good package on this car in terms of its refinement. We've got a laminate windscreen, uh, double bulkhead. Uh, and also we've tuned the bulkhead for the right frequencies, for the diesel frequencies, so they don't attenuate them. And so it comes across as a very refined package. So the diesel engine still makes some kind of that noise that we were used to, like, not no, a lot, obviously, because it's so much refined. So it is very protected, the cabin, that's one yes. of the things. Yes, but, but I think you'll, the diesel cackle that people used to talk about, that's, that's virtually been eliminated at, at source in the combustion. Yeah. The, uh, the ejector system can inject up to five times per one cycle, which is, which is control that we never had in the past. That's meant that you can do this level of refinement. So V6, 3 liter, 255 horsepower. 254. 404, 440 pounds of torque. That's like the amazing number, maybe. Yeah, that's the same as the V8 supercharged yeah. model. That's, that's incredible. Yeah. And, and off-road, it gives it a very uh, fuss-free performance. I think it wasn't revving very much to get over some of those big obstacles yeah. when it was using ATPC. And uh, uh, explain that, please, because that's a very impressive system. Uh, I will describe it, I mean, very, very general terms, as like cruise control for off-roading, right? Yeah. Cruise control uh, would, would perhaps lead you to believe that it just holds the speed constantly. It, it holds the progress smoothly is, is the best way to, to do it. If it. The car will stop and, and get stuck on certain obstacles, but then it sits there and figures out the best way to get over the obstacle. Down in the ground, can that to hold this that wheel, that so. wheel, to unlock that wheel, and then it'll work its way out. Exactly, the so it, it really makes it easier for people who maybe don't have that much of experience way. doing it, because uh, the car will like calculate every movement. It's impressive when climbing out of the gullies back there on the off-road. Yeah. It would also, if you can, if you bog it down in sand, now when we try also, to climb up, just press the button, uh, it's over five minutes, and just well, it'll just swim out. So uh, besides that, the new engine, so uh, what else is new for this model? What else is new for this model? Well, I always, always think it's it's like putting putting my off-road engineer in that seat with, with yeah. the driver. All they have to do is is uh, move the wheel. That's a big luxury. We've updated the uh, the customer interface here, um, so the seat the seat heat controls have come out and they're in sort of a, a two-touch. 
Uh, don't even have to look yeah. at the, the apps. The apps are there. Uh, there's also thing. quite a lot of uh, this uh, uh, infotainment changes. Uh, the control apps has gone Range in. Range Rover, Land Rover, uh, and uh, been doing the really drive great application, the which is something from years. North America as well. And uh, yeah. you just uh, yeah, yeah, the uh, new screen uh, is pretty amazing. It's yeah, part of the family, but it's a lot of family. But I guess it's going to inherit some of the technology from this guy's GPS system, right? I mean, it's the same company, you know? Yes, I mean, I, I actually can't talk for F-Pace at all, I don't know the product details. Yeah, completely different company. Yeah, completely yeah I just different. got it confused because it's like, we're driving SUVs and that's a new yeah. SUV. Uh, but, it, but the F-Pace is, is, is much more of a, a competitor for, say, Porsche Macan. Yeah. Uh, something like that, something that we So going we, back we, to the diesel engine, uh, we didn't talk about the... Yeah, I was just saying just in general, general how, how great things have you guys been doing in the past five, ten years? But the, uh, the traction control systems, uh, the hill descent control, all that lot will be learnt and you'll find that in, in F-Base. It is, it is certainly part of the family. We won't have let the SUV learning go completely. Yeah. The, the, okay. label, the label value, um, yeah. the label value is 25. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for two weeks uh, before I came out here to do this launch, uh, I drove two weeks in a, in a gasoline V6 uh, and I drove uh, two weeks in, in a diesel. The diesel mileage I was getting in very wet British cold winter, <laughs> very, very dark, so you've got a lot of lights. I was getting 29 and a half. Wow. Um, and the, uh, for the considering this is such was, a big vehicle, uh, I mean, that's and like an amazing number. So that's, big the number difference. That's, yeah, that's the number. In the summer, yeah, exactly. uh, in, in Europe, you'll, uh, you'll be done to some of these things. Nice, nice, careful driver. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Obviously, you don't have a. We don't. We don't. No, oh, yeah, um, like anything else. Like anything else. Exactly. You know, it doesn't make sense. You breathe more. Exactly. You eat more food. It's only been for so many high gas markets. Well, and again, we're going here, like, down here, like, we don't hear anything from the outside. This is like such a smooth, smooth. Not only from the engine, outside noise or anything. Yeah, it's a it's a well insulated package. Um, we've also got uh, acoustic glass on the side here uh, yeah. in Range Rover. And the other thing that I love about your cars is this uh, the panoramic, panoramic sunroof. sunroof. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. 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 That's uh, that's great. In the Middle East, they can open them up and they fly they fly the falcons off the right <laughs> out, the, out the window. Yeah, maybe we can try that uh, here. Yeah, if we can find a falcon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, Peter, thank you very much for, you. You, for your time. We're going to keep enjoying driving like, here in uh, Sedona, in Arizona. A little bit of better weather than you have back at home, right? Oh, very much so. <laughs> we've, got, we've got floods at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> well, so let's enjoy this for, while we're here. Excellent. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Don't you fear the words I say.